This is the vision of sine numbers. For this one, we're going to use the negative snake game and also we'll need two Skittles for this example. We have some equations that I would have the students write down. The first one is positive 32, and I'm going to divide that by positive 2. So I would take 32 using four 8 bars, and I'm going to divide that evenly amongst my two Skittles. So the students can see that positive 32 divided by positive 2 would leave each Skittle with positive 16. So they can write that down. In the next example, I have negative 32, and I'm dividing that by positive 2. So for this one, I'm going to use my negative bars. I have four negative 8 bars and I'm going to divide that evenly amongst my Skittles. So for negative 32 divided by positive 32, each Skittle is going to get negative 16. Here the students might notice, or I would point out, that it appears that our rules are going to be the same as what they were when we were multiplying sign numbers. For this next example, I would ask the students, if we took negative 32, how many groups of negative 16 could they make? And they would know that two of the negative eight bars would equal 16. So I have a group here of negative 16 and a group here of negative 16. And then they could bring in their Skittles to show that we can make two groups of negative 16. So now we're going to record our work. I've asked the students to divide negative 32 into groups of negative 16. So we have negative 32. We're going to divide that by negative 16. And that leaves us with positive 2. In this last example, I would start by telling the students that I have $32, and we're going to represent that again with our four eight bars, our four positive eight bars. But I owe money to two bill collectors, so we're going to use bowls to show our debt collectors, our bills that we're going to pay. And I would ask the students, if I had $32 and I wanted to pay the two bills evenly, what would each bill collector get? So we would distribute those. And they would tell me that each bill collector would get $16. So while the bill collectors would be earning $16, I would be giving up that $16. So the bill collectors are negative to me. They're, they're taking something away. So what I have as they record the work is I started with positive $32, but I'm paying it to bill collectors. So that's going to be negative two. And actually what we have here, because I'm losing the, the money, I'm losing the $16 to each of the bill collectors, I'm left with negative 16. So it would be a negative to me to lose that money to each of the bill collectors. So our final equation would be positive 32 divided by negative 2, and that would equal negative 16. In division, we know that what one Skittle receives, or in this case, what one bill collector receives, would be the answer. Each bill collector in this case received 16, so our answer would be negative 16.